Greetings this uh, Monday morning. It is uh, 20th of December and um, we are in our fourth week of Advent. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York and delighted to pray with you today. So let us begin. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon the height and look toward the east and see your children gathered from west to east in the word of the Holy One. We open ourselves today to God's presence, um, helping us to appreciate um, God's grace, the power of God's grace in our midst to give us hope, uh, especially in this season um, of Advent, preparation of, of excitement and, and inspiration to come. Christmas. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us any sin through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. O God, let our mouths proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. This morning we will pray the Venite, Psalm 95, 1 through 7. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise to the Lord a shout with psalms. For you are a great God. You are the God above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it. In your hands you have the molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee before the Lord our Maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. Our reflection today is uh, taken from the Wake Up to Joy, some family devotions for Advent. The scripture is taken from the Gospel of Luke, which we've uh, attended to this past weekend. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. The word of the Lord. We're asked to think about uh, Mary, who makes a wonderful contrast with Zechariah. Though Mary is a young girl, the angel's presence doesn't bother her as much as the angel's words. What is all about this, about being favored, or the Lord is with you? When the angel explains what will happen, Mary says, let it be with me according to your word. If we are like Mary, we'll keep our hearts open to receive all the marvels that God wants to give us. God is continuously showering us with blessings and benefits. Each breath of life is precious and calls for thanksgiving. Every day is filled with wonders if we are ready to accept them. In a few days, we'll receive gifts as we celebrate Jesus' birth. Let us remember all the gifts we've been given and the one who gives us every good thing. So the reflection is about appreciating uh, the giftedness of being open to the grace of God and all that can bring. Sometimes we get so battered down with the, the minutia of life we forget um, how truly gifted we are, how God has blessed our lives 
given us opportunity after opportunity to to live into uh, God's wonder for us. So let us think about that as we begin this fourth week of Advent. Lord Jesus, you are the Holy One of Israel. May your will be done in these days of celebration. Let us pray for one another. Holy and mighty Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. We ask to be delivered, Lord, from sloth, the world's liness and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws. Savior, deliver us. We ask to be delivered from famine and disaster, from violence and murder and, and dying unprepared. Savior, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of our death and at the day of judgment, Savior, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience by your baptism fasting and temptation savior deliver us by your mighty resurrection by a glorious ascension and by your sending of the holy spirit savior deliver us keep in safety those who are traveling this week those in our families our gatherings all those who uh, are trying to express the joy they feel in their hearts Keep them from keep them safe from any peril. Hear us, O Christ. We ask you to heal the sick bodies, minds, and spirits, especially of those who are in hospitals or in nursing homes, those who are feeling particularly low this season. That they are not alone. Comfort them, surround them with your peace. Hear us, O Christ. Give us true repentance, open us to your grace. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. to God whose power working in us can do even infinitely more than we could ever ask for or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you this day, fill you with his love, encourage and strengthen you in your journey, and open you always to the possibility of God's grace. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, have a great day.